we learn the properties of triangles here, how the properties of triangles are used in daily life. To explain this, I have prepared the two models here. The one thing is to find the width of the river using uh, the congruency of the triangles. Here what we have to make means, we have to take one reference point on the bank, the river bank. Okay. Then exactly opposite of that, on the other side of the river, we have to fix one pole. From there, from there you start walking a certain distance, say 50 meter. Then fix one more pole here. From there again 50 meters, fix another pole. From there, opposite of the river, you start walking. Opposite of the river. You have to stop where these three points come in a straight line. If we join these, we will get two triangles. In these two triangles, these two are vertically opposite angles. This is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. This 50, this 50. So these two triangles are said to be angle, side, angle. We can say that these two triangles are congruent triangles. So whatever the distance we have walked from here to here, the same distance will be the width of the numbers. Then another, uh, the right angle property is, the opposite side divided by the adjacent side will remain the same and that is called as a tan theta. Tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. Using this property, on this property, using this one, how it is used for daily life or day to day life. This is a clinometer. This is used for measuring the height of the tall tower buildings or a tree. Here the 360 measure, degree measurements are written and our one pipe is there. Through this pipe we are finding the angle of elevation or the angle of depression. To find out uh, the height of the tower, what we have to do? We have to calculate the distance from the tower, how much it is. If it is a tower, the tower distance. The distance from the tower to the person, you have to calculate. If it is a 20 feet, take it as a 20 feet. Then the angle of elevation we have to take, the angle of elevation to the top of that tower. That is, this angle theta is calculated using this kilometer. We have to fix that uh, top of the tower, we have to peek through this pipe and find out the angle of elevation. If it is a 38 degree, we can see the 38, the tangent ratio here. It is uh, 38 means 0 0.78313. 0 0.7813 multiplied by 20 feet will give the distance of the tower. As we are taking it from a certain height, we have to add the height 5 feet. That will be the height of the tower. It is not only used in this uh, finding the height, it is also used by used for uh, the cloud ceiling. This is uh, the phenomena where uh, cloud ceiling means the clouds which are at the lowest altitude. That is called as a cloud ceiling. Here, the airport, in the airport, the weather, uh, to understand the, uh, for the weather conditions. Here, how much the altitudes, at which altitude the clouds are there, to calculate this one. What the meteorologists do means, they will throw a searchlight from here. And they will be knowing the distance from the office to the searchlight. That will be the adjacent side. And this... Uh, where the light will meet the clouds, the angle of elevation they will take, that is theta. Using the same tan theta ratio, we will calculate the height or the altitude of the clouds. Knowing this one, it is easy for uh, uh, the meteorologist for the taking, the landing off of the, sorry, the landing or taking off of the airplanes. That is, that one is, it is calculated. And again, it is also used for the, by the skiers or the winter hikers. The winter hikers of the skiers, they take the clinometer to measure uh, the slope height, the snow covered slope height to measure it. For their safety purpose, they will be taking it. See sir, if it is the angle of elevation is uh, 25 to 45 degree, that is dangerous for the hikers to climb upside. Because if it is between 25 to 45 degree, there are the chances of avalanches, so they will not move further. This one, again, the cave surveyors, they are also using the clinometer to find out the depth, angle of depression, we call it as. They are using the clinometer, they will find the angle of depression, the cave, how much deep it is, and even the horizontal length also they can calculate. Then, this is, the earlier the sailors used to 
use the clearometer for determining the height of the clouds. Using the height of the clouds, they used to predict, so not definitely, they used to predict the weather condition, whether the storms are there, the dangers of the storms would be predicted. But now what we are doing, we are using the taking help of the satellites to knowing the weather conditions. But earlier they used to use the clinometers for this. And even the city planners will use the clinometers. Now sir, digital clinometers are also available which will exactly give the theta value of that. This is used for uh, the construction of the roads, for the road safety and also the runaway of the water. It is used. Yes sir, these are the certain uses of that. Thank you, madam. And uh, you are from which school? Uh, I am from Navalgur College, sir. It is a government high school, Navalgur, Tarwa district, and Kamala district. Oh, okay. So you are uh, BSc B or Maths B? Sir, I am not a mathematics, I am a CBZ teacher. Oh, okay, okay. I am a MSc MSc. Oh, what wonderful explain. Thank you so much. How about she? She is your. Uh, she is my relative, sir. I thought her. Okay, thank you.